my beautiful flowers. Good morning, everybody. Were you impressed? You found me down at the gym, not using the gym. I never use the gym, um, but I use the swimming pool and I swim as often as I can. And, um, and I love, actually, I love the gym's changing room. I'm gonna put you there. I love the gym's changing room and I love their hair dryers. Um, and tonight is the big night. I haven't got you very, so, if I seem a bit hyper, tonight is International Women's Discussion Panel that I am hosting at the Marylebone Hotel with these six movers and shakers, very, very powerful women, and I'm hosting it. If you watched me last year, you know that I get very wound up. Everyone thinks, oh, I sail through, because I interview people for a living. I don't sail through it. I get very anxious, um, but I'm wearing that dress that you saw me get from Koi Bird um, with all the ostrich feathers, so I'm wearing that. I've just got to collect it from my tailors because I had to get the sleeves taken up. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna wear that and hopefully remain calm and cool, which brings me on to uh, this. So you probably wondered what I was applying in the gym changing room. Um, this is my deodorant, which is wild. Now I, and it's wild in every single sense, it's wild because it's fantastic, but it's also wild because it's very, very natural. I saw other influencers using this. I asked to work with wild because I am elderly, I'm mature. I've gone through generations of different aerosols, you know, and different deodorants and the spraying on and the staining so, so many of my clothes were stained white from aerosol deodorants. Um, plus, I don't know about you, when everyone's in the changing room spraying this stuff, it chokes, goodness knows what it's doing to the environment. It certainly chokes me and I wanted a roll-on, what I call a roll-on for my generation, that's natural. And I saw lots of influencers working with Wild and I asked, can I work with you? And they said, okay. So, this is Wild, I'm using the sea salt and cotton uh, scent. It's, you wind it up like that. You saw me using it in the gym changing room. The scent is so, so subtle that it doesn't overpower. You know, a lot of these deodorants clash with your own perfume. It doesn't overpower. It's very, very subtle. It's beautiful, vegan, non-cruelty. You wind it back down when you've used it. Non-cruelty ingredients. Um, it's, uh, there is no single-use plastic. In fact, this will last you forever because you can get the refills. So I think this is cherry blossom, but I, I love sea salt and cotton. Um, and you pop those in. They are made, the refills, of um, compostable bamboo, actually. So every bit of it, every bit of this brand is kind. Um, I've gone for the lilac because I love lilac, it's spring. If you want to gift someone one, you could have something a little bit more masculine, maybe a little bit more less feminine. Um, and as I say, these are, there's no single use plastic used, but if you would like to try wild for yourself, go, I urge you, go to their website. Um, you have 20% off if you use Joe Good 20, Joe Good 20, 20% 20 off all products, all wild products. Go and have a look at the website. You can mix and match. You can even take out a subscription so that you received the refills through your letterbox when you need them. Um, but as I say, use my code JOGOOD20. And for me, this is the answer and it's 24 hour protection. So this will keep me going tonight. When you see the clips of me at International Women's Day, you will know I'm wearing wild all the details in the description box below. Right, wish me luck. It's going to be quite a long night. And these are... Joanne Good, what are you wearing today? So 
<laughs> He's so well trained. This is Koi Bird. This is Koi Bird. Very nice. He's a Mew Mew. Mew Mew. It was a bit of a dilemma at the back because my bra showing up. I'm far too long. Is it too much, Mitch? Let's have a see. No, 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 it's absolutely fine. You look, you look wonderful. <laughs> Well, that seemed to go well. I must say, this headband, gosh, sorry, I've got no lights on. I don't know if you can see me. This headband gave me such a headache. It's like, it's very, it, I love it. Someone said I look a bit like the Statue of Liberty. Um, it went well, I think the night went really well, and I do get myself very wound up, but I stayed dry. <laughs> um, my wild worked well. Um, I'm going to talk to you as I take my makeup off. I haven't done that for ages. It's quite nice to just chat to you. I am using Boots Number no. 7 Eye Makeup Remover. This is the best. I have tried everything. This is the best. It just removes waterproof mascara. I, I tried the simple one and it was useless on my mascara because I use waterproof. Anyway, just to have a little chat. Tonight went well. I'm um, going to an event tomorrow so I need to get up early. Then Anna and I are going to Crufts so it is a busy, busy week. Um, I'm now using Beauty Pie Japan Fusion Cleanser. I love this and I'm coming towards the end of it. Um, so yes, there are, I don't, I didn't want to keep going back to the fact that Mutti died and I know that Many of you are struggling with the deaths of people close to you at the moment, so I don't want to keep going on about it. I will say this, though, that you did all say to me, most of you who said to me, who've experienced a death of a parent or a loved one, that it comes in waves. You know, the funeral, the funeral is amazing. And um, can I thank the wonderful Simon Lysett, who you all know if you watch this vlog, he um, he did the floral tribute for my mum and the, the red roses that are still in the living room are off her floral tribute. When she got married, she had 12 red roses and I told Simon, so he put 12 red roses on a bed of spring flowers. They were amazing, they were beautiful. If you follow me on Instagram, I did put the picture up of, of just the floral tribute. Um, on my Instagram, so yes, they're still up there. Um, and I think the thing is, just to keep working. By the way, I love these. These are muslin cloths, and I buy them from Amazon in groups of six. They are so good. They're far better than the... Um, Lizelle ones that I was using. These are really big and they don't shrink in the wash. Um, so yes, I, I'm just getting on with my life and being busy really does help. I must say, I have to say, my workload is such that I don't really have time to stop and think about anything, which is good. At the moment, it's good. So, yes, what do I follow that with? Huh. Um, I do follow it with this wonderful Paula's Choice, um, and it is the Nourishing Milk Toner. I love this, so it's so gentle. Um, really, really gentle. So I change my cleansing routine all the time. I change my skin routine. That's what some of you ask. 
You know, Joe, you, you trial so many products. How does your skin cope? Well, I do trial products, but if you notice, they're always from either Beauty Pie or Paula's Choice. Those are usually my go-tos. And occasionally I'll mix in something else. But that's usually it. I'm going to now put on some vitamin C. Actually, or will I put on a retinol? Maybe I will use a retinol. And I think I'll use the Beauty Pie Super Retinol. This is a strong one because I haven't used it for quite some time. Um, and I don't, I'll maybe use it once a week, this one, because it is quite strong. Um, and I, there is a code still. If you use my code, I think you'll get um, a deduction off the membership. And I'll leave that below. So yes, that is the Beauty Pie Retinol. Right, that is it. That is me. I'm going to go to bed. I have such a lot to think about in my head. I like to run through what happened during tonight through my head and then sleep and then get up and go to the event tomorrow, which I'm taking you to. And I'm taking you to Crafts. Lots to look forward to. Somewhere I've never, well I have, I went once, do you remember I drove there really quickly because I wanted a Maximara camera coat? Anyway, I'm going to an event with Theory, and you may have noticed I am wearing a lot of Theory suits which are my choice, I pay for them, I love them, and they've now invited me to have a look at their spring collection in Vista, so I'm very excited. So yeah. Marylebone Station, one of my favourite railway stations, and it's very, very quick. I think it's about an hour, maybe it's 50 minutes, anyway, we'll find out. I'm telling you, this is the time to come to Bicester. I got the very early train. It's empty. I think in the afternoon it's madness. But um, it's empty now. I must not be distracted. I have to go to Sacconi's. But there is a farm shop. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, Jimmy Choo. Can't go into Jimmy Choo. Must focus. I've got to go to Sacconi's um, for this event. But look, it's like we've got the whole place to ourselves. Lovely, and the sun is out, and I am going to get. Oh my gosh, I love those shoes. I'm now going to get the train home. And yeah, Vista is really, really quiet. It's about one o'clock now. Um, oh, Alenciaga beckons. This is dreadful. I'm never going to get home. Oh, and Alexander McQueen. Okay, <coughs> quick look. Look who's here. Hello everybody. <laughs> I love that jacket. Oh thank you, my new jacket. 
that I wore on Channel 4 yesterday, name dropping, rare for me to do so, rare <laughs> that I was on Channel 4. <laughs> Why were you on Channel 4, Anna? Well, it was part of the Gruffs coverage yesterday and I was talking about the English Toy Terrier. And look and who's here. Voila, here look he is here. for his second day at Gruffs. He, he will be a bit tired. He rocked it yesterday, didn't you? you that were, little tooth is a bit of a worry. It's a little bit of a worry. He's <laughs> it's pink the story. lighting is good in here, Joe. The lighting's very good. Yes. Anyway, so look, we are on our way to Crafts. Um, another train journey, everybody. And um, we are recording, pre-recording pieces for Barking at the Moon, which is on tonight. Don't forget when you watch this, it will have been on on Friday. But you can always go to BBC Sounds. And um, yeah, we're going to show you some of what is happening at Crafts. And um, it's a nice day out. Look at these fields. Where are we? <laughs> Milk and Queens. Somewhere between London and Coventry at the moment. <laughs> yes. And we've had, um, we've had one cappuccino, haven't we? Yes. And that's it. No doubt we'll have about eight coffees. By the, and then when we come back, we're going in to do the radio show. That's right. So we've got a, a really long day, but, you know, it's good to keep going. Is that a Hobbs jacket? It is, Joe, a Hobbs jacket. And I bought the trousers to match. And, oh, have um, you? Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got, well, I thought while I was at it. Yeah, why, you know, not? why not? They're good. They've got good pockets and they're the right length because it's... Um, selling hobs here because of course it is through Joe that I am into hobs um, in case hobs are watching. <laughs> hobs you better be watching. <laughs> this is a hobs suit as well and lily silk. I'll leave all of the links below. <laughs> Say goodbye. Bye everybody. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm leaving work a different way because Dave isn't picking me up tonight. I am driving myself home tonight. I tell you why, because I was so tired after crafts, I just couldn't walk in. Usually I walk in and then Dave brings me back after the show. I was just too tired. And um, so I drove in. So, bye. Oh, oh, bye, bye. bye. Um, yeah, so, okay, I'm gonna turn this off and I might just talk to you when I get in my car. So, yes, sorry everybody, I know you're all waiting for Dave. He's going to collect me tomorrow, but of course, that means he won't be on the vlog this week. Um, gosh, it's freezing, actually. Um, so, this is um, the end of the vlog. What a week, what a week. And um, again, and I say this all the time, your support for me at the moment, because I am feeling, I'm, feel, I'm feeling really weird. And what I've done 
is I've worked twice as hard this week to what I usually do and um, it really helps just filling my time being busy being with my friends but also working hard um, and then when I stop and then I just reflect and I think of Mutz and I I try not to panic I just think of her in a nice happy time and then I I sleep I sleep really well um, so yeah but I you know I get as I said before the support I've had from all of you I don't know how people deal with such an emotional loss that don't have the support of my our community you're all amazing um, anyway so that's it um, what have I got to tell you wild wild kept me protected don't forget if you want to try that natural deodorant and I must say I mean it's weird to sit here promoting deodorant outside um, work at half past one in the morning but it really did you know International Women's Day was something I get so wound up about because they're very clever women that I'm interviewing and um, I felt perfectly safe with my wild so anyway the the discount will be in the description box um, what else have I got to report oh the walkers so when I say keep sending your walkers these are you walking past the Carnaby Street lady. Um, if you go to Carnaby Street, there's a neon woman. If you film yourself walking apart, walking past, send it to the address that Philippe will put on the screen here. We play them at the end of the vlogs and we've done it since I started vlogging. Sometimes we have a lot. If it's a school holidays, we usually get loads. Midterm, we don't get so many. I never know I never know till I watch the vlog on Sunday if there's going to be any there. Um, and that's it. That's all the notices over. We will be back. I will be back next week. And um, yeah, have a great week. Enjoy the week and enjoy the rest of the day. Bye for now. Oh, yes. Give us a thumbs up. Apparently it really counts. It helps fight the algorithm. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Most of you do. And I answer. Well, I read them all and I answer most of them. Um, and as I say, I'll see you next week. Dave will be back next week. Bye.